Hey everyone, Fear Crawler here. Welcome to the video. I was just down in the old basement doing a little bit of doomsday prepping. Been watching a lot of AMC lately, which as we all know only shows documentaries. The most popular of which is The Walking Dead. And I mean, wow, I had no idea the world was in such bad shape. So speaking of zombies, that's what today's video is about. I hope you enjoy. October 5th. Last night was my first time on patrol. Since Hal is still healing his sprained ankle, he's having me traverse the graveyard with Gaul. Or in his words, I'm too dang sore to be trekking to graveyard. And so I'm being made to hunt the undead with Frankenstein's monster as my companion. Despite Hal claiming that the dead don't rise many at a time, we got surrounded by ten last night. Gaul went to town beating the living or unliving hell out of them with his axe. Probably the worst part of the whole ordeal was when one of them grabbed Gaul by his shirt. Gaul responded by lifting his leg, placing his boot on the corpse's chest, and kicking it away from him. The issue was it hadn't let go. So when Gaul booted it away, its arms tore off with a squelch. Gaul looked down at the rotting limbs hanging off of his wife beater and made a face showing his disgust. He pulled them off his shirt and threw them at the corpse, which lay writhing on the ground, groaning. Once it noticed the arms formally attached to its shoulders, it began to wiggle over to them like a worm. Immediately upon getting close enough, the zombie started to eat its own arms. Gaul's mouth twisted into a disgusted sneer and rubbed his hands on the front of his jeans. I simply puked. Gaul proceeded to walk over and bury his hatchet in the back of its skull. Once I finished my chore of emptying my stomach, Gaul gestured to the body. The message was clear. It's your turn to clean up the mess, kid. I slowly headed back to the supply shed and grabbed a shovel and some thick protective gloves. Once I figured out which corpse went where, I had to drag each of them back to their grave. After they were placed back in the ground, I had to reshovel the earth back into the grave. After the ground was refilled, I replaced the tools and headed back to my house. The sun was just beginning to rise, so I simply hopped in the shower to clean off the gore and then flopped into bed. October 12th. It's been getting really cold as of late, making patrols even more miserable. On the plus side, Hal says the zombies don't come out as frequently in the winter. The frozen ground isn't exactly easy to crawl out of, so they can't dig themselves up. Sadly, that doesn't include the crypts, since these are just blocked by steel doors, meaning we don't get winter nights off. I've taken a page out of Hal's book and started carrying a flask. October 18th. It was practically a hurricane out tonight. The wind was blowing so hard we actually had some trees fall. I also downed my first creature tonight. Gall and I were over by the south end of the graveyard. It was pretty dark because the moon was partly blocked by Raspail's Hill. We had yet to see anything that night partly because the wind kept blowing leaves in our faces. Gaul turned and headed down one direction, and I turned to go another. After walking about three minutes, I heard a loud thud and a familiar groan. Turning back, I saw Gaul laying on the ground in the distance. On top of him was a zombie. I rushed back in his direction and whipped out my gun. I aimed and took a shot. The problem is, when you're firing a gun in a windy area, it isn't exactly easy to hit a target. My first shot hit a tree. I fired again. This one hit a wall. I aimed slightly off to the left and fired. Mercifully, the wind was blowing in the opposite direction. By some miracle, the bullet hit the thing right behind his ear. He fell over dead into gall. 
My silent partner shoved the corpse off himself and lifted his legs into the air before hopping up to his feet. I headed over and asked if he was alright. He replied with a nod. I looked behind him at the corpse. Now it was time to deal with dragging it back to its grave. I was about to go grab it when Gaul stopped me with a hand on my shoulder. He shook his head and pointed at himself. The message was, This one is on me. Never being one to complain, I nodded and went back to my house. I took my gun off as soon as I got inside. Now I'm putting down this entry and feeling total and complete dread. I turned and looked for the beer I always left on the table by the door. I grabbed it, yanked off the cap, and downed the whole bottle in about 40 seconds. This was a very bad idea. The second I finished, I suddenly felt my stomach lurch, and I bolted to my bathroom. As I emptied my stomach, I couldn't get the image of the bullet entering the thing's head out of mine. Once I flushed everything I had eaten in the last 24 hours, I got up and went to the sink. After washing my mouth out three times, I stuck my head under the faucet and turned the water on. When I soaked my skull for about 15 minutes, I seemed to cease in my shaking. I went upstairs and grabbed my journal. I came back down and flopped into my recliner and began this journal entry. Once again, I'm regretting taking this job. I needed the cash, and the fact was I got to leave my crappy old apartment and get away from my crazy landlady. The pay is great and so is the house, but how much more of this can I take? Granted, it was an undead corpse, but still, this is the first time I've ever killed something. I'm still trying to get my breathing under control. Right now, all I want is a hot shower. After that, I think I'll drink a gallon of brandy and sleep forever. Or till Gaul wakes me up. Whichever comes first. But still, the shower is needed now. Ugh, that story was so scary it gave me chills. Ooh, and pokies. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm just going to take a quick peek outside and make sure there are no zombies coming. Brains! 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 Eek! Whoa! Well, where's Daryl Dixon when you need him? Psh! Daryl Dixon, my butt! Daryl Dixon, my butt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no, no! Disregard, disregard, and transmission!